Welcome back to another exciting episode of Health Bulletin. Are we over-testing in healthcare? In the United States, four to five billions of medical tests are performed each year, which costs the United States over $300 billion. Annually, in unnecessary medical treatment, including diagnostic testing. But did you know that up to 60% of these tests, some may not be needed? Excessive testing is just one part of what's known as low-value healthcare. It refers to health services that provide little or no benefit, also cause potential harm and incur significant costs or waste limited resources. Unfortunately, this type of healthcare comes with plenty of risks and little reward for Americans. A study published in the American Journal of Medicine focused on unnecessary testing within the first 24 hours of hospital admission. Shockingly, it found that over 31% of these tests were needless and did not change the course of the patient's care. When patients undergo excessive diagnostic tests, the potential for errors exists. False positive or false negative results can lead to a diagnostic cascade of more testing or unnecessary prescriptions causing harmful side effects and interfering with proper treatment. So what drives this overtesting? According to a study published in BMC Health Services Research, there are several factors at play. Physicians often want to reduce uncertainty and ensure patient safety by ordering a wide range of tests. They hope that an abnormal result will explain the patient's symptoms or illness. There is also a fear of malpractice lawsuits. Many a time patient requests or demands and the inability to access patient records quickly were reported as the top three reasons for overtesting by healthcare providers. Without proper diagnostic testing, patients, parents and families may be left wondering if they were thoroughly evaluated. Specifically, we'll be exploring how the current structure often rewards healthcare providers for providing more care rather than focusing on what is truly necessary. In a fee-for-service system, healthcare providers can earn more money by ordering additional tests and procedures. While this may seem beneficial, it can lead to excessive spending, which ultimately affects everyone. Higher healthcare insurance premiums and out-of-pocket maximums become the consequences of this wasteful care. We understand that as patients, you may feel caught in the middle. On one hand, you want to follow through with recommended tests and treatments. But on the other hand, you don't want to be burdened with unnecessary expenses or labelled as non-compliant. One area where this issue becomes particularly evident is in imaging tests, and such as X-rays, CT scans and MRIs. These tests can cost hundreds to thousands of dollars and may not even be covered by insurance. However, for healthcare organisations, they can be financially beneficial. So what can be done to address this problem? Well, evidence-based practice interventions have shown promising results in reducing unnecessary medical procedures and healthcare costs, all while maintaining patient satisfaction. The American College of Physicians has taken a proactive approach through their High Value Care Initiative. This initiative aims to improve health outcomes, avoid harm, and eliminate wasteful practices. It has gained support from multiple physician societies, emphasizing the importance of appropriateness in testing and treatment. As patients, we rely on healthcare providers to be our gatekeepers and stewards when it comes to accessing healthcare and diagnostic testing. Diligence is key in limiting overtesting and preventing the unnecessary diagnostic cascade that can follow. It's important to note that the ethics of ordering healthcare providers are not in question. They genuinely want what is best for their patients. So the next time you visit, ask your physician some simple questions before undergoing any test or treatment. Do I really need this test or procedure? What are the risks and side effects? Are there simpler, safer options? How much does it cost? And will my insurance pay for it? Finally, possibly the most overlooked question is, what happens if I don't do anything? It's time to address the issue of excessive testing in healthcare. By promoting evidence-based medicine and improving communication between doctors and patients, we can ensure that every test performed is necessary and beneficial. Together, let's strive for quality healthcare. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Stay healthy and stay informed.